Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who Big Finish unboxing. Yes, we've got a lovely package from Big Finish because they've had another sale and I'm a sucker um, for a good old sale, this time on the Companion Chronicles. Now, if you know me, I utterly adore the Companion Chronicles. It's one of my favourite ranges and really underrated, actually. It's a range what doesn't really get talked about and I would love to do a video discussing some of my favourite Companion Chronicles um, in the near future. Um, because basically they had a clearance sale basically getting rid of all the CD stock um, of the Companion Chronicles and obviously me being an old fashioned uh, type of person like to have the physical product um, I kind of had to take advantage of this because within half an hour most of the Companion Chronicles are out of print and by 5 o'clock I think there was only 8 stories left in print um, so I'm really glad that I picked up um, the stories when I did actually because I've got quite a few um, as you can see so Without further ado, let's just dive into this unboxing. So we start off with this one. Um, the Companion Chronicles, I think they're about £2.99, I think. So, you know, really good price. Um, so if we just um, open that up, we have good old Vortex uh, magazine there, advertising uh, Wicked Sisters and the Tenth Doctor and River Song, both releases I'm very excited for this month. Uh, so the first Companion Chronicle is the second story from the... A second series of the Companion Chronicles, which is Helicon Prime. Um, I think that this is sort of set between Season 6 and B, I think. Um, and I did listen to a little bit of it on Spotify, because the second series of Companion Chronicles is on Spotify. Um, so yeah, Helicon Prime is the first Companion Chronicle. Right, so moving on to the big old package. Um, so we just open this up. Where's the little tab? There's the little tab. Like so, uh, we have our Companion Chronicles. Um, so we just open that, as you can see, we've got quite a few in there, so let's have a closer look at the Companion Chronicles inside. The Companion Chronicles inside the big box were Bernie Summerfield and the Criminal Code. Um, by the looks of it, it does look like a sort of Virgin New Adventure style cover, obviously with the 7th Doctor in his Virgin New Adventures outfit, so I guess it's going to have a bit more of a, an adult feel maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, by Eddie Robson. Eddie Robson, I really like his uh, writing, so I'm, I'm definitely excited to give that one a list. The next story we have, Here They Be Monsters by Andy Lane, um, featuring the first Doctor Susan, Ian and Barbara um, by Andy Lane. Like I said, very good writer. I really like Andy Lane's writing. I really did enjoy Thousand Tiny Wings and Mahogany Murderers and his Jago and Lightfoot stories. Really good. Um, Andy Lane's one of my favourite writers, actually. Did enjoy his stuff. Um, next up we have the Older Jamie um, Companion Chronicle Knight Black Agent which fits in between the Older Jamie um, trilogy. Um, I've listened to the Sixth Doctor and Jamie trilogy um, so it'll be interesting to see how this fits in um, because this fits in between um, sort of City of Spires and I think it's yeah Wreck of the Titan, um, the second story in that trilogy so it'll be quite interested to give that one a go. Um, I may revisit that trilogy actually because I did enjoy um, the older Jamie trilogy. We have Resistance by Steve Lyons, another fantastic writer. It's quite interesting actually. The Second Doctor's quite a few World War II um, stories. You know, he has um, The Forsaken, uh, The Night Witches, Home Guard, just to name a few, and obviously Resistance. So big finish. Do like putting the Second Doctor in uh, the Second World War. So. Yeah, be interesting to give that one a go. Um, Annika Wills performs that one. Next up, we have the first story in the sort of Zoe trilogy, um, of sort of the memory trilogy of Zoe sort of getting her memories back, I think. Um, I think that this sort of, sort of arc was sort of semi sort of hinted at in uh, Fear of the Daleks, and it continued on the Inserty Principle and Memory Cheat, which I also picked up um, as well, but that CD hasn't arrived, and I believe that's the final part of the trilogy. Um, but yeah, very nice to have that trilogy and finally give that a listen because the Companion Chronicles just have some really good trilogies like the Oliver Harper one and the Sarah Kingdom one, really good uh, stories those are. Next up we have another second Doctor one, we have uh, The Forbidden Time which has a very uh, very interesting cover, very creepy creatures on there. Um, and this one does sound quite interesting actually, but there's this sort of species that claim um, a part of the Time Vortex which is kind of interesting and it'll be quite exciting to give that one a listen to at some point. Then we have Second Chances, which I believe sort of loosely ties into the Zoe Memory Trilogy, um, I believe. Um, and I think that this is the last singular um, Companion Chronicle release, so it's a quite a bittersweet release, I guess, um, by John Dorney, so of course it's going to be a brilliant story. And the final Companion Chronicle, we have The Child, not Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian, but uh, a big finish story um, by Nigel Fares. Um, very cool cover, really like the cover on this one, using the sort of the face of evil um, promo images there. 
Um, and I, I, I'm not sure about the Leela Companion Chronicles, whether they have sort of a loose arc, because they're all written by um, Nigel Fares, um, you know, the Catalyst, um, the Time Vampire, um, and I think there's another one, Empathy Games and The Child. Um, so I'm not sure if they all link together, but it does say um, The Child takes place after The Time Vampire. Um, so I'll definitely give the Leela Companion Chronicles a listen at some point. So there we have it, The Child. So there we have it, my little Companion Chronicle haul featuring mostly Second Doctor Companion Chronicles, actually, when you look at it. Um, so yeah, it's great to finally have the Zoe sort of memory sort of trilogy complete once Memory Cheats arrives. And I may do a video um, reviewing uh, the sort of Companion Chronicle trilogies like the Oliver Harper one, Sarah Kingdom and the Zoe one, and maybe a few more, and uh, possibly do a sort of uh, recommendations from the Companion Chronicle list. Um, so yeah, can't wait to dive into these uh, stories eventually, um, but yeah, very cool to have some Companion Chronicles. I'm only missing two Companion Chronicles now and then I'll have the complete collection. I'm missing the Evelyn one and um, the Great Space Elevator, the uh, Victoria one, so I just need those two and then I'll have the complete Companion Chronicles, which will be very satisfying. So thank you very much for watching this uh, unboxing video, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next uh, big finish video which will be a review of Shadow of the Dalek. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.